If you thought that baking a sinfully delicious, rich and luscious cake was a complicated, difficult and time consuming process, think again because Susan Purdy has a surprise for you. She is a well-known food and travel writer and author of numerous cookbooks. She's about to show us a cake with no flour and no icing. Is it really a cake? It's really a cake. It's a very sensual cake. It's wonderful. I met you when I was doing Working Mother with your daughter Cassandra, right. who Years cooks ago. as well. She was little then. She loves to bake cakes today. Does she? Yeah. This is, you know, cake baking is something we sometimes ignore because of time. Yes. Four, four minutes and 35 seconds. That's all it takes Ready for this. to put it in the oven. Should we go? Should we, we should start? Go. I want to tell you, it's very characteristic of the book, A Piece of Cake, because it is easy and very elegant. All of your cakes are easy. And you can freeze it. Great for entertaining. Make it weeks ahead. And a little nine-inch cake serves 12 people. It's that rich. Whoa. It's all right. Wonderful. Here we go. The ingredients. We have seven ounces of semi-sweet chocolate, which has been powdered in the processor. Can you do this in a blender, Susan, if you don't You can don't do it in a blender. Processor. You can do it in a double boiler on top of the stove, too. This is simply a quick way to melt the chocolate. Okay. We're going to pour a boiling syrup of half a cup of uh, water and a cup of sugar. And normally would be seasoned with, uh, flavored with two teaspoons of coffee. But that tends to make it boil over, so we're not adding the coffee All this right. morning. All right, okay. So the chocolate is powdered, and we'll pour in the syrup, and the syrup will melt, melt, the, melt chocolate. the chocolate. Melt the chocolate. Coffee also makes it a richer taste it and a does. darker chocolate taste. So if you don't mm. like that as much, you can leave that out? You can leave that out and you can add uh, orange extract or oil Ooh. of peppermint at the end oh. for a different flavor. Oh, that's good. But you wouldn't add that right now at the beginning. So our chocolate's melted. The chocolate is melted and now we're going to add two sticks of unsweetened butter and the hot syrup will melt the butter. We'll leave the processor running. Boy, talk about it easy. This does beat the double boiler. You don't have to wait so long. The only thing you have to know how to do is turn on the blender. Yeah, that's <laughs> right. Yeah. That's it. As soon as you no longer see the little pieces... It's melted. It's melted. And then we're going to add four whole eggs that have been beaten up. That's the entire that's process. That's it? That's it, and it's ready to be put into your baking pan. We no have one... No flour. Unbelievable. No flour. We have this same mixture. You can taste this if you'd like to see how wonderful that is. Just you mean just finger, do what you're supposed to do? Stick your finger, stick in, there your finger in there and see how, how delicious that is. Oh, boy. There's nothing that's not wonderful Oh, you know, that really tastes that like delicious. melted milk it's chocolate to me. That is delicious. Oh. Now, we have that same mixture in a previously greased and paper-lined pan. And now we're going to add our decoration. If you'll excuse me. Now, what's the closer. decoration, Susan? This is melted white chocolate. And it's put into a baggie, a Ziploc baggie, which is the simplest form of decorating bag. A tip is, a hole is cut in the corner, and we've just dropped in a pastry tip. Oh, isn't that great? It's a quick and easy way. We're going to make a spiral design here, and then we'll simply draw a line through it to create the decoration. This is it, isn't it? This I mean, is you've it. made this cake. This is it, and it's ready to go right into the oven. I'm going to repair that spot. That's it. Now, when you say draw a line, this is the fun part. This is fun. And I'll do part of it, and then you can finish. Oh, go ahead. You can do the whole thing. We can do it together. <laughs> this will end up looking like the top of a, of a Napoleon. The trick is to draw in opposing directions. So first, every line goes to the outside. And second, the, the lines, lines go to the inside. And that and creates that the pattern. And that gives you swirl. Ah. Isn't that, Isn't that clever? Just melted white chocolate. That's melted it. Melted white chocolate. It's important to use a good quality melted white chocolate. The, you need a lot of cocoa butter in it. The imports are really more successful for this because it must be smooth. What kind of chocolate do you begin with for the semi-sweet? Supermarket baker's chocolate is, is it? perfectly good. You can use the more elegant chocolate, the more delicious it will be, but baker's but chocolate works fine. I no. just tasted the baker's. That was baker's that chocolate? Was very good. Chocolate okay. bits, anything works fine. This is a champagne sabayon sauce, which you can use to serve with it. Oh, I wanted to tell you, it's baked in a water bath. Oh, Because okay. of the eggs, it's important to bake it slowly and gently. And so we'll put the pan into a larger roasting pan and pour about two or three cups of water, enough to come about a third of the way up the side of the pan. All right. 350 for 35 minutes, and that's it. Now, do you obviously you bake it and then you freeze it? Well, yes, you unmold it from here and you freeze it, freeze wrap it. it and freeze it, and it's, it's it is, good for weeks. And look at this. Did you see the finished product? It's, it's absolutely beautiful. gorgeous. Now, I, we have to taste you this. Have to have a piece. Uh, the champagne sabignon sauce, what goes into that? That's egg yolks and sugar, which are beaten over a double boiler until they triple in volume, and they're mixed with wine. In this case, the champagne. 
And that's it. And that's it? That's all it is. So you pour the sauce right over the cake? Well, we're going to put a little bit on the on side. On the side. But actually, this is so this rich. This is too big, can, this piece. Well, we'll share do this. Without, this is for everybody on the, so on the set. Will help you. Oh, thank you, Jim. Did you bring that you yourself so you could make sure you, you have it? You want a piece, too? <laughs> Jimmy has it on his belt. Yeah, he's always ready when we have a cake. Okay. All right. That's gorgeous. Whipped cream around the side? That's whipped cream around the side. I'm going to give you a little bit of sauce oh, here. Oh, boy. Eat your heart out, everybody. This looks gorgeous. I'll bet it is rich. I can tell. It almost cuts like fudge, doesn't it? It is like a texture between a soft fudge and a chocolate mousse. Oh, oh boy, that'll you make like your that? day. <laughs> a little depressed? Make this cake. <laughs> Absolutely Very quick gorgeous. To make this cake.